Hello wonderful friends and welcome once again to my next Let's Play. Uh, today we're going to be starting on Last Word. I don't know a whole lot about this game yet, but I'm, from what I've heard, it's supposed to be pretty good and it definitely seems interesting to me. So let's go ahead and give it a shot, shall we? Hmm. hmm. Excuse me, gentlemen. This is the estate of Professor Ch Chatters, is it not? Indeed, we've just arrived as well. Yeah. And the servant should be back out soon, milady. He'll be letting you in. He'll see to letting you in. Don't wait up for us. Ah, uh, I didn't expect to see this already. See what? Uh. This chit chat. More of the words. You know what those two fellows are engaging in right now. No, no, after you. But surely, all I see is a bit of discourse. Wordplay is common enough at social gatherings, if not if not entirely expected. Hey. Yes, but have you never met Judge Boasting and Mr. McCall? Mm. I'm familiar with them, but we've never been formally introduced. Why? They continuously attempt to get the last word on each other. It is, it's a pain to listen to. It's as if whomever speaks last gets a big prize, or some such thing. <laughs> That's exactly the point, young sir. Try not to play ignorance. Hmm. This is a rather large estate. Hmm. Only the best for Professor Chatters. C care to come inside? What of the other two? If we wait for them, we'll be out here all evening, freezing our smiles off. Come along. He shut the door on us, and after inviting us in, can you believe the nerve? Hardly enough, I can. Hopefully the exceptional Professor Chatters will have a bit more manners. You've never met with him either. I can't say I have, but I couldn't refuse his invitation. This should be a fairly high-profile gathering, if I'm not mistaken. I'll be a great, it'll be a great boost for my position in the Messinbo Corporation. It's due time we entertained our host, Mr. McCall. After you. Very graceful of you, Mr. Boasting, but I insist you lead the way. I couldn't possibly, Mr. McCall. Mr. Boasting, you simply must allow me the pleasure of letting you go first. I insist. <laughs> See what I mean? You are a bit ignorant, aren't you? I'm Witty Gossip. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Seymour Seymour of Seymour House. A pleasure. What do you say we get inside before it gets much darker? Interesting. Hospitality, or he who scoffs last scoffs best. So, this is Summer House, the estate of Professor Chatters. Of course. Why state the obvious? Should it be obvious? I've never stepped foot in here before. <laughs> Good point. You certainly haven't. I don't let just anyone enter onto the property. You're a bit judgmental for a servant. Possibly. Professor Chatters has strict guidelines for who can and cannot attend his little get-togethers. There are multitudes of dowdy figures vying to tumble through that front door. Sometimes his guests have class, other times I must bite my tongue. Like now, for example. Hey. I don't suppose you've worked here long with an attitude like that. Mm -hmm. I'm a professional, Mr. Seymour. I've been here quite some time, and I never forget a frumpy face. I'll be sure to add you both to my mental catalogue of regular attendees. The others are up this way. Follow me. Are you ready? Oh. I suppose. This isn't exactly my forte. No, you don't mingle often. My mother handled most of these engagements. Ah, key topics. Same more house. Learn key topics to unlock locked topics. She was the head of the same more house. I was a bit sheltered myself. Maybe you'll pick up on some of her skills. Oh. I can only hope. But maybe... A glass of wine first. Alright. Somebody's having a hard time in the bathroom, it looks like. 
Ah! We've got a spot to save here. And options. Text display. <clears throat> <laughs> Every chance they get. What else we got? Music. Oh, hey! You can choose different songs. That's cool. And what else? Uh, let's go with filling automatically. Alright. It looks like there's a transparent bottle tucked far behind the glass. Ooh, locked topic unknown. Interesting. This bottle on the bar is different from most of the others. So I guess these lost, these locked topics must be things that we can uh, chat about. Tonight promises to be interesting. Quite a few new faces. Yeah. Myself included. Yeah. Most certainly. You especially. And it's bothersome. I come to these parties for some real conversation. Discussions, arguments, gossip. Honestly, miss. Mm. Gossip. Witty gossip. <clears throat> I know who you are. I'm being condescending. But as I was saying, miss. Gossip, was it? I don't think you have what it takes to hold your own oh. here. <laughs> You're serious. Yeah. I am. Do you disagree? I most certainly do. Excellent. <laughs> oh, all right. Move the conversation cursor forward to get the last word. Higher levels have greater starting advantage. Woody is 11 levels lower. Disruptive, submissive, or aggressive. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Enemy skills, common courtesy, piercing gauge, inflection, perfection, powerful vocabulary, and descriptive levels. Huh. So it looks like it's a rock, paper, scissors type thing, vaguely. Disruptive beats... No, wait. Disruptive power, submissive tact, aggressive movement. I'm not sure. Hmm. Alright, so disruptive, subtle, common, or, or overt. Let's go with subtle. Oh no! I think I got my butt kicked. Well, it seems I've left you speechless. Hmm. Be a good girl and bring, bring me a glass of that 20-year blanc. It's just delicious. Come now, show some class. Don't leave a thirsty woman awaiting her evening nip. What a buff face. Mm, you can at least pour a glass of wine fairly well, at least. I commend you. Classy slurp that is in no way obnoxious. Mmm, simply divine. As you're no doubt aware, there's great power in the ability to get the last word in a conversation. In that brief moment of speechlessness, you were susceptible to my persuasive... persuasions. It's a positively overwhelming feeling. It certainly is. You don't sound enthusiastic enough, and it bores me to no end. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to strike up a conversation elsewhere. Find the lock icon to progress the story. Okay, so... Looks like we're going to need to chat with him. Uh, what was his name again? Hey. I'm a little surprised seeing you talk with Mrs. Prattle like that. Mm. You mean just now? What of it? Yeah. I just... I don't know. It's like watching a fight. I didn't expect you to take part in it. Ah. Hmm. We've just met, Seymour. I don't know why you're already making expectations. Yeah. You're right. I guess I'm still a little bit flustered. Like I said before, my mother usually handled these affairs. Looks like I have a lot to learn. Oh. Well... Common discourse can be summed up by saying that whomever gets the last word wins. To move the conversation forward in the direction you like, you need to carefully juggle three types of phrases. We'll be simple. 
Let's start with a disruptive phase. Phrase, excuse me. So, disruptive. And subtle, I guess. The disruptive phrase gar garnered a small amount of power in the conversation. To really affect the discourse, we need tact. Now that we have some power, select a submissive phrase. But first, we'll give the opposition their turn. Submissive phrase reduced power, but it gained tact. This tact is needed to be aggressive without losing face. We'll go ahead and say an aggressive phrase and watch the conversation truly start to move. shown over composure, the more the conversation moves forward when using aggressive phrases. Composure is important. If someone has damaged composure, they become more susceptible to aggressive phrases. Or, to be more clear, aggressive phrases move the conversation further if the listener has forced composure. Each phrase uses a tone, square, star, and circle, damage composure by using a stronger tone. Once the speaker chooses a phrase, they also commit to a tone. The chosen tone is shown as a shape below the person that can use it. Balance phrase choices based on resources, immediate effects on the conversation, and tones to get the advantage. More information can be read at save point. Well, wow. okay. Interesting. Okay. Gain power, secondary movement. So then we can use that to get a bunch of attacks. Tact and enhancing opponent's composure. Okay, so we could do another disruptive. Oh, no, we can't actually. Does it? Couldn't we? Oh, yeah, we could. I think that, yeah, we can use the tact we have left to actually win this, though. Nice. Gain experience after discourse. Experience is higher when winning than losing. Oh. Feel smarter? Oh. I suppose. Just try to remember the phrase civilitus civilitum. Civilitum. St. Laudan's motto. I never learned Latin. Yeah. It's not Latin. It's complete gibberish to the finest degree, but everything has meaning. It works as a reminder that in the civilized world, it isn't what you say that matters, but how you say it. Civilitus civilitum. Civilitum. Civilitus civilitum. That is so hard to pronounce. Hey. Our nation hasn't steered us wrong yet. I'll try to keep that in mind. Perhaps I'll start picking up on some of the finer points as I go along. Ooh. And so I told the young lady that she could have my hat only if she put down the revolver. Yeah. Brilliant tale, Mr. Boasting. I'm sure that impoverished child you saved will never forget your deeds. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, he'd better not. Servant, when are we going to meet the professor? Mm -hmm. At breakneck speed, I assure you. Professor Chatters needs to finish setting up the equipment before the grand display. 
Hmm, newest invention. And let's say you tell us what this new device of his is, eh? Mm -hmm. I've been sworn to secrecy, as I'm sure you'd expect, Judge Boasting, but your charm is noted. I encourage you all to mingle while we wait. The wine is out and corked. Enjoy it. It looks like we must wait a bit longer, Mr. McCall. It seems to be that way, Mr. Boasting. Care to grab a drink? Okay. I'd love to, Mr. McCall. After you. Huh. Aye, these two. This is a small party. I expected a more varied crowd, didn't you? Yeah. I guess I never thought about it, but maybe more people will arrive. The night is young. Ah, key topics. Select a key topic and gossip with guests. Level up the topic or learn new ones. Shift. Ah. Nearest invention, same warehouse. Not much to talk about, really. My mother was the head of the house, and now it's me. I'm not done talking with you. Chatter. So this is what a party is like. Mm. You're not familiar with parties? Not really. I don't host any, and the Seymours haven't really been invited to any since I became the master of Seymour House. Interesting. I suppose it explains why you're so shaky right now. Possibly, although I'm always a bit shaky. Feel like practicing the, um, talking? Alright, so let's give this one more shot. You don't sound like you're up to the challenge. Don't confuse my intense fear with a lack of enthusiasm. I am the master of Seymour House, after all. In title, certainly. You sound more like the servant of Seymour House. I- oh. Seymour, I thought we were engaging in discourse. You can't give up prematurely. Try it again. Ah, I get it. Then what I meant to say was- I disagree. <laughs> oh. All right. So he's on that. So right at, so since subtle has the star tone, then I think that might actually be better for us at this point. So let's try that. Yeah, and it gets his blood boiling. And uh, he's on circle. Uh, ah, but we can't do overt. But even subtle is enough to uh, get us to the win already. All right. Cool. Hey. Uh, I hate to do this to you, but it has to be done. What do you think I should get for my trophy? Uh. Uh, well, you look spiffy in that bow tie. I agree, but I would like more than a compliment. Uh. Yes, what I mean is that I, I happen to have one you should take. It's handy, if nothing else. Oh. Very thoughtful, Seymour. I think I'll take it. Ah, earned a bow. Now, keep practicing. You have some shaping up to do. I'll accept that challenge. Huh, interesting. And so we've got the two topics to talk about. So let's try... 
Awesome. I couldn't possibly guess what the professor brought us here for. Maybe we should ask around. Yeah, alright. Uh, I don't want to talk to her again. I don't like her. Um, yeah, I don't know who's in there, but it doesn't look like they're having a good time. Uh, looks like talking to him will uh, make things pass by quicker. I'm quite excited to see what the Immaculate Professor Ch Chatters has in store for us. Oof, level 32, holy crap. Uh, Chatter. Boasting House is, most, is known mostly for politicians and judges, but most of us enlist early on. You won't find truer gentlemen. Because of our positions, we've always been friendly with the McCalls. McCall House, in case you didn't know, is mostly administrative. Every courtroom in St. Lauden has at least one boasting and one McCall. Oh, that means you're Judge Boasting, correct? Should I be calling you your honor? Absolutely not. Call me as you would any other civilian. I only go by my title in the courtroom. Okay, um... I'm afraid to try doing discourse. So, for now... Ah yes, the Seymour House. Unimportant by the standards of the last few years, but not without interesting details. I'm positive Mrs. Praddle would have something to say about the former head of the house, but I doubt she'll talk about it here. Maybe once the night progresses, the wine will loosen her tongue. Hmm, interesting. Hey. Ah, here we go. McCall is a much lower level. Seymour House, Seymour House. Hmm, it seems I should know more about it, but I'm drawing a blank. Eep. Okay, well... Let's talk about the invention, then. Eep. The professor's invention is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. Honestly, though, I expected there to be much more to the Summer House estate than your average party would have. Knowing what little I know of the professor's reputation, I expected the estate to be stuck to the brim with scientific equipment. Hmm, Chatter's history. Hey. The noble professor is quite the mystery, even to McGall House. Hey. Good evening, Mrs. Miss Gallship. Mm. Good evening, Mr. McCall. I see you and Mr. Boasting are settling in well. Oh. Yes, we have a sort of history. He's a master conversationalist, I find. Verbally sparring with him works to my advantage. He allows me to keep up, I know. But one day I hope to have as much social experience under my belt as he does. That's a rather simple aspiration. Hey. I've no, had no lack of aspirations thus far in life. Big or small, complex or simple, I have room for all of them. Alright, so let's try having some discourse with this guy. You look smashing this evening. Any chance I could take up some of your time? What's your opinion on professional boxing? Uh. This sounds like a weighted conversation. Excuse me if I'm cautious. It's an expertise of mine, certainly, although a new viewpoint, viewpoint is always welcomed. Mm. Then, if you must know, I think very little of it. Oh. You jest. St. Laudan was founded on the principle of diplomacy, strength in words, not arms. Oh. That's a modern fallacy comprised, compared to the origins of humanity, or even Europe as a whole. We fought and struggled long before words existed. Boxing is an homage to our heritage. It harkens back to our origins, pitting one being against the other in close quarters. So much time and effort is placed into destroying another person, not just body, but pride and reputation. And you think that because the activity is physical, it's somehow less than, say, a highly regarded debate at a university? Prim primal brutality can hardly compare to philosophical discussion. Allow me to assert the opposite. Alright, so let's give this a shot. Oof. Alright, well, that's fine. I'm gonna get a bunch of tact right now. Hmm. Oh, I guess that must have been. Yo. 
Oops. Yo. Uh. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Yo. Mr. Holden McCall, specialty gaining tact, personal skill, boyish charm. Boyish charm enhances elegant smirk. 5, 10, or 15 extra tact is gained when landing on the center peg. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So let's go with common, since that'll have the uh, tone we want. Oof. Let's try... If we can get his status down a bit further. Oof, jeez. Okay. Yeah, the further we get his... Tone. Ah, jerk. The further down we can get his tone, or his, um, mood? What was it? Okay, composure. There we go. Tone, real composure. It's a little hard to keep up with this. Alright, so. He's got a square, so star is going to be helpful for us. to make use of some of this. So he's got star circle would be our best bet. Ooh, that's a lot of tact. Holy crud. <laughs> Alright, can we do um can't do square. That would push us almost to the wind too. Um here we go. Alright. Oh, no crud. Okay. Uh, composure any lower, so... Be out of our league here. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. This is definitely an interesting combat system. It is not easy to... Not easy to game the system, I guess. more for getting it on the center peg. Hopefully this doesn't mess us up too much. up a lot of tact, but if I can maybe just do subtle a couple times in a row, might be enough to get us all the way to the win. Uh, I say. Difference, but it's so hard to get. You lost gracefully. <laughs> oh, and leveled up. E. Usually this is where I gloat, but I find that it serves my chances for a proper date. Uh. Uh. Could I convince you into letting me show you around the McCall estate sometime? I'll consider it, Holden. Alright, well we've got some new stuff we can talk about at least, like uh, Chatter's history. The professor has a rich and fine history of gentlemanry, at least so I hear, he's rather reclusive. But he's quite brilliant, they say his inventions have been used in the front lines of this blasted war. Ah. Might be related to the uh, newest invention. So you've heard that the professor makes military devices, interesting. Actually, now that I think on it, I remember my mother saying that Professor Chatters used to be a linguist for the military. I know very little about Chet Chatters himself. What I do know is that he's, well... I'll be more willing to talk about this after I've had a few drinks, I think. Sorry. Oh. 
So you're aware that the professor used to be a linguist, eh? Oh, my word, this truly does excite me. I haven't had worthy discourse in years. A linguist like the professor is just what I need to test my merits. Okay, and... Haven't talked about the second level of newest invention with Judge. I'm quite excited to see what the Immaculate Professor Ch Chatters has in store for us. Could it be another prototype for the war? They say his previous invention was purchased by the military almost immediately. Hmm. The professor's invention is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. However, Mr. Boosting here claims that the invention is without doubt a military device. Chatter's hey. history. The professor was a linguist. Intriguing. I bet Mrs. Prattle would have something to say about that particular nugget of gossip. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll talk to her. And this party isn't getting dreadfully boring. I have the urge to leave. Uh. We haven't been here long. A woman of your position might find excitement in such a dull gathering, but we Prattles have a much higher standing. I haven't been to a party with so few people and such little drama since I was a girl. There isn't even any music. Yeah. What about the wines? Do they meet your standards? Yeah. The wines are surprisingly quite fine. That is, except for the Ambleton. You can find a bottle of Ambleton in any cellar these days. On the whole, Chatters needs to work on his hosting skills. How he's managed to maintain Chatters House this way is beyond me. Although, when I think on it, he really hasn't hosted any other parties that I know of. Hmm, special event. Got some experience. Okay. Professor Chatters was a linguist? What a marvel! My husband is a linguist too! I wonder if it's possible that the professor's newest invention has to do with linguistics. Oh dear, my sweat, my wrists are sweating at the thought. Actually, I think I may have heard about such a project in the news. Was it Professor Chatters who was working on communication technology? Can you imagine how the world would turn in our favor if our dear linguists had better gear? This has gone from drab to exciting. Alright. Let's up, see. Oh, okay, just stretching. Okay. Where were we? Imagine how much a grand linguistic device could aid us out in the field. My hubby could come home in no time. No. The Seymour house. I'm all too familiar. It's a rather lesser house. That old man with the glasses is the youngest member, if I'm not horribly mistaken. But I'd rather not talk about that lineage tonight. Level is she 12? Uh. 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 Rumors are spreading that the professor is building a communications device. Seems a little far fetched, but we'll see soon. Oh, oh. I'm quite excited to see what the Immaculate Professor Ch Chatters has in store for us. Oh, wait, you already said this part. Huh. Weird. I guess General Santoff is the one who's stuck in the bathroom. Hey. Word spreading that this great invention has some bearing on how we communicate. It's simply riveting. Oh. Mm. Alright, maybe we can try... Well, real quick, I should like save, probably. Let's try that one more time. I didn't think I still had the touch, but our last conversation made me feel like a boxer again. I'm not one to give up the fight. That's what I like to hear. Alright, so let's try this again.
There we go. I think that might help. Settled, I'd like you to empty your pockets. I would say that you're the first person interested in emptying my pockets, but my former manager is currently vacationing in Majorica. I'm not interested in your money, I'm not a train robber, but I will take that bow. Hey. That bow. That's all. Go right ahead. I brought, a, I brought a much better tie to wear. I'll put this to good use. I have no doubts. Alright. So, this game is definitely interesting, but I think that's going to be all for today's episode. Next time, we're going to talk to the butler, rude butler, and see what the deal is with the uh, Professor Chatterley. Alright, well... Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please uh, feel free to subscribe, maybe leave me some likes or comments. If you want, you can check in the doobly-doo, where you'll find a link to my Twitter and my Tumblr if you want to talk. Or if you feel like, you know, supporting me, sending some money my way, go ahead and check out my uh, Patreon or my PayPal. There we go. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Bye.